in the best show on the internet. Shut up! Nobody, and I mean nobody, tackles issues like inflammatory talk. Shut up! And Mr. Midnight Movie. Shut up! And Jewish producer. Hello, son. Shut up! We tackle the things that nobody, nobody tackles. Hello, son. The man answers. Hello, son. Stop walking on eggshells. Shut up! Hello, son. Goofy Bone can get off his bloviated fat enchilada ass and start talking about La Raza. Hello, son. Oh, jockin' it. Pink Daddy Joe Pete. Oh, j- jockin' it. Pink Daddy Joe Pete. Whipping the skippy all day long, all day long. We're making a movie about white guilt. We're going to examine all these facts. Shut up. The civil rights movement today basically uh, protects criminals. Okay, stop interrupting me. We're making a movie about white guilt. Okay, stop interrupting me. Shut up. We're making a movie about white guilt. Done in a beautiful fashion, the documentary, at the same time, both prose and poetry. It's not the noble movement that it was. I'm above you on all these issues. I've been to the military. I have served in the capacity to protect your rights to bloviate. To protect your rights to bloviate. Who are you to tell me what my style is, you meth addict? I've been to the military. How do you know I'm a meth addict? I'm above you on all these issues. How do you know I'm a meth addict? You haven't served in the military. In fact, you wouldn't be fit for the military. I'm a racist, and I don't consider myself an especially evil person. What's this got to do with the price of rice in China? Well, I'm just telling you, I'm a better man than you are. You're a narcissist. We've established that. Okay, stop interrupting me. You could not defend the very rights you enjoy. You are the ultimate invalid, 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 invalid. I put stock in you. I'm wondering why Mr. Solutions is not on Debbie Daly's show. What's this got to do with the price of rice to 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 rice early on. Man boobs. Shut up. I'm going to talk over you as loud as I can. I've got my speaker. Full blast. Full blast. Shut up. Your name is Delano. I have killed Mr. Midnight Movie. I stabbed that son of a bitch. Shut up. This is money. 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 You get that little at the, the end there with the bass up girl? Have you ever heard that part at the end there where I have uh, bathtub girl spliced in the in it's a good good part of that song. Uh, yes. Mr. Midnight Movie, are you here tonight? I am here. Are you here? I, I'm no, here. We, we, we be going guest. out to the women's march in LA. Yes. You celeb- are going to the women's march? To, to celebrate yes. that we have you on Liz. We're going to the, the women's march tomorrow. Very good. Uh, what we're going at like early, I think at like ten AM or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty early. Ten AM. That's that's like brunch time. It's not easy to get our Sean King posters up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh yeah, James Watson, uh he uh basically he's uh now uh, should I like sh- I wonder if I should play this clip or, or do you or do you want me to send it to you so you can play it, JP? Um, I think you should send it to me so I could send it to Liz, who will then rebound it back to you, and then you can just dunk it. Yes. <laughs> How's that? Shit. Oh, let me see. Oh. Here we go. Let me uh, send to you, paste it to you. And this is our, okay, uh, by the way, this Tonight's is in climate. Brought to talk. You by Hold on a second, please. Yes, yes. Just wanted Maybe. to let people know. This is Inflammatory Talk. I am uh, the host, and I have my co-host here. I am the host, the Inflammatory but Diplomatic Mr. Midnight Movie. I have my uh, other co-host here, uh, the Perplexing uh, and also Inflammatory JP. Yes, what's going on? And then we have somebody else here. I think we already have that. We have Liz. Yeah, we we have Liz. From Liz What the Fart Network. (laughs) Yes, she's got a show. uh, Hello, lovelies. Yes, and I just, you know, I, I've heard of this gentleman before, and I knew that he had his, um, he had to sell his Nobel, Nobel, uh, Nobel Prize in Science. So, JP, I've, uh, I've tweeted, I'm not tweeted to you, but I've uh, sent in this, in the, into the Skype box, uh, a, um, uh, a thing from the Young Turks. This was about four years ago, 
But uh, this was the first time uh, that he had gotten in trouble. If we can play that clip, hopefully uh, Liz can, if you can share your screen, JP, and Liz can see all right, all right. Uh, what we are all looking at. Okay, let me do that. I will share screen. Oh, wait, that's not that, right? You're not talking about this, are you? No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about going on webcam. Get your dick out of you. I mean, never mind. I'm trying not to swear, folks. I want to keep this whole thing a little bit more wholesome than we've been having. But you know, we're gonna. I mean, we've been potty mouth since. Oh, share screen. My bad. I had the wrong thing. But th is this what you were looking? Share screen. It... Whoa. Share screen. <laughs> I did share screen. Oh, Dude, I didn't press the button. It's just, Sorry, it's the first time I'm doing using this uh, feature on this computer. All right, so you should be able to see my screen now, right? Yeah, have you seen that thing right there? Yeah, I see it now. Now, what do you think of that, uh, by the way? Have you seen that one before, uh, Liz? That's just a screenshot, by the way. I have not seen that one before, no. What do you think of that? <laughs> what, do you, what goes through your mind? <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's very funny. Do you, who do you think would win, the cat or the bird? The bird. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> absolutely the, the bird. <laughs> that's why the cat is next to the thing, and the bird is getting uh, justice. Right. James Watson oh. is one of the co-discoverers of. Oh, DNA. I don't want to watch In Anna fact, Kasparian. He was one of the people... Okay, hold on. Well, okay. she's talking. She's talking about you know Nobel Prize winner is broke because he's an a. -hole. Oh, okay. James Watson is one of the co-discoverers of DNA. In fact, he was one of the people who discovered DNA structure. And, of course, that is a very important Can you hear it? Jesus, one is coming in really field. awful. Well, recently, uh, he made it known to everyone that he will be auctioning off his Nobel Prize. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Uh, because he is broke. Now, why is he broke? What happened? Why is he auctioning off this very, very important prize? Well, it turns out that in the past, he made a few racist comments about black people, and now people refuse to hire him as a result. Let me give you the specific examples according to Raw's story. In a 2007 interview with the Sunday Times, Watson claimed that he was inherently gloomy about the prospect of Africa because, quote, all our social policies are based on the fact that their intelligence is the same as ours, whereas all the testing says not really. Oh, he continues. God. I know. He continues. Moreover, while he admitted that everyone wants to believe that all races are born with equal intelligence, anyone who has to deal with black employees finds this not true. Okay. <laughs> So he doesn't, he doesn't understand why people don't want to hire him now, and he doesn't have any income, and so he has to auction off his Nobel Prize. So, it, oh, wow. Oy. So how By the way, do you know who that chick is, don't you? She, she's a, from L.A., she, Gina Grad. No, who is, who is that? That's Gina Grad, and the, the, one, the main person talking, oh, no, who's that? <laughs> That's your father. Mm, he's much, I love to from the crib. How much is he expected to a worse place, by get way. for his Nobel Prize? Three point five million dollars. Wow. In fact, the reserve is two point five million dollars. And okay, so on the left is Anna Kasparian with the polka dots. She's a host of uh, the Young Turks. And I don't know if they've picked up Gina Grad. She's from L.A. I, this, this is a, a, there's a funny story behind this one. So you've met her before, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so here we go. Apparently oh. the auction house is arguing that he will no definitely she was on the, the uh, But I don't really Earth. understand being able to auction off a prize. It's like, so what? You bought it. You didn't earn it. Nobody I, can, it's like you can't, you can't sell an Emmy or an Oscar. I didn't get it just because I stole it from somebody and they're out of their car. Rich people. I don't right. know. I don't know. Um, here's my favorite part of this whole story. He's supposed to be super smart, right? Okay. So he was quoted as saying, and I'm just taking the end, where he says, and science finds not really. Is not really a technical term? I guess so. Okay. Guess just so. making sure. I mean, he's smarter than me. He's the one who found DNA structure. Right. right. Um, now, he, I'm sure he apologized for this, right? Well, let me give you his apology. Uh, he apologized for his remarks, saying that he was not a racist in a conventional way. Oh. And that the journalist interviewing him somehow wrote that I'm worried about people in Africa because of their low IQ, and you're not supposed to say that. Wow, that, that's quite an apology. James Watson, congratulations.
By the way, we're... <laughs> Congratulations, you seem like a really bright guy. Isn't that a bad, a, also bad, isn't that a Brad Paisley song? Wow. The Accidental Racist. <laughs> That's a song, right? So maybe it's now dedicated to uh, this guy, Mr. Watson. Oh my gosh. Um, that was such a non-apology. That, was, was, the, that was like the top non-apology <laughs> of the century. And I could, I mean, if you want to hire him, go ahead and hire him, but... Seeing as how he said horrible things about African American employees, I certainly wouldn't put him in middle management to you know oversee anybody. But yeah. that's just me. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's incredible oh. how I think this is a perfect example of how people are usually a mixed bag, right? Yeah. Like you might be really intelligent, you might be really smart, you might have skills and talents that are important for a specific sure. field. Sure. But at the same time, you can be an absolute idiot when it comes to other things. Yeah. And who who's the the other DJ that she also was from LA? I've seen a few times around. Uh, she's she's a, a more of a you know right wing kind of uh, oh man. Why I think she was on MTV for a little bit too. Uh, you might oh, uh, is it Kennedy? Yes, Kennedy. I I think Gina Grad's trying to kind of be the new younger Kennedy, uh, but for a more obviously a different kind of angle. I don't know how if it's working. And this you is never, like, a, you know, use this power for good or evil. If he understands DNA better than the rest of us, he can start doing horrible things or withholding things or doing a uh, little, you know, alchemy because he thinks, well, this race isn't super smart and this race is kind of smart. I know DNA structure. Yeah. So that's like wow. a pretty like Mr. Burnsy. I don't like. Gina has a serious breakout going on too. She's usually yeah. got perfect space. <laughs> okay, that's really, that's Maybe Doctor really... Watson can fix her yeah. zit problem. She, she needs some Doctor Watson in her life. I will be right back. Can you can you just start talking about this? I got I got a phone call. I got to take real quick. All right. Um. So JP is going to be on the phone right now. Got a phone call. Is he yes. sweeping up? Is he sweeping up right now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm hearing background noises like he's sweeping up, but I don't think he can go on. It's a good idea that he goes on mute, but I think I'm hearing vacuums in the background. And I, I don't know. Yes. I can't play that myself. So, yeah, Dr. Watson was, um, he was uh, a genetic. I mean, he was a geneticist who uh, basically he said a few things about, uh, you know, white, you know, like about about uh, IQ and race, and uh, he has been uh, really basically vilified for that. Okay. And uh, I guess, <clears throat> and he's 90 years old. Um, have you heard of James Watson before I mention this, or is this the first time that you've uh, heard this uh, first name? This, this would have been the first time that I would have heard this, but... I mean, just off the bat, it sounds like every other, sounds like every other uh, SJW driven by feelings instead of thinking about common sense. Factually, if he's correct, then he's correct. Emotionally, that's all on them, and everyone's responsible for their own emotions, and I think that's a, that was stupid commentary on their behalf. Yeah, it really was. Now, um... Do you believe in IQ? Or are you skeptical? I mean, I, I might be skeptical on it myself, but uh, what do you think? Do you think IQ is something that is factual, or is it something? Is it uh, something that needs more study, or is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, what is your opinion on IQ? What is my my opinion on IQ? Like in. Like in in general, like how do we gain intelligence? What is intelligence based well, off do, of? Think, do you think intelligence, uh, like what percent do you? I mean, do you, do you? Okay, do you think intelligence uh, is inheritable? Uh, n no, not necessarily. There are probably people. Um, I mean, a lot of things happen in utero. I think with brain development. I mean, I mean, you can you can take a look at people that probably don't take care of themselves or are malnutrition or, or can't afford to take care of themselves while they're pregnant with a child. And then you can compare that child with someone who um, is able to take care of themselves, able to get proper nutrients um, and things like that. And there's probably going to be, I think, a distinguishing difference 
between the intelligence levels of the kids when it comes to like brain development and function. Um, so I, I, I do think that, and then that doesn't necessarily make it hereditary, um, you know, or genetic. I mean, we're, we're not talking about someone who was born with um, any other mental incapacity or disability. We're talking about straight, okay, case A, case B, same scenario. Maybe things uh, were different when... Now, 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 JP is, uh, have you seen the picture? JP is not, he's on the phone, but he is, he's sending us oh, no, uh, inspirational I'm pictures. I'm done. Uh, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> that is so, Captain America as depicted in the movie Coonskin, the Ralph Bashy movie from 1975. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, that... I mean, you think about you think about it. Africa is a impoverished com- is a impoverished country, right? Or they have impoverished countries within Africa. Africa is a continent. But um, and <laughs> you think about it, they can't get a bunch of nutrients out, so, and there are women there, are, you know, just as pregnant as everywhere else. And if IQ is lower, it would be interesting to see the correlation between, um, you know, what they're being given and what they're being fed, if the IQ is lower versus other places where the IQ is higher. When, when they're pregnant with, with children. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's something that, you know, like that we can examine, but the, the fact of the matter is, do you think uh, Mr. Watson should be punished? No, I think he was, I don't think he said anything wrong. I think he, I think he did a study. I think he produced what he found, and I don't think that he should be damned for that. I, I don't know. Those two, I think, were completely asinine in their commentary because they're, they're, they're either trying to a get attention or B they're being completely driven by emotion and not driven at all by logic. And, you know, they weren't listening to him. They just heard a topic and they made a comment. So I think they're complete morons. That's my opinion. Do you think, uh, IQ, uh, varies between different ethnic and racial groups? Uh, I, I, I am. Yes. And no. I mean, you can meet, I, once again, I think a lot of this happens with, there's, there's, I think there's a lot of contributing factors. I think what happens in utero is really important. What happens during the developmental stage of early childhood is important. And then combination of environmental and social factors um, growing up. So, I mean, if you, if you have an area where it's all, you know, like the ghettos, um, and the general population or the most population just happens to be African-American, which a lot of our ghettos in the United States consists of that, you know, and, and the IQ in those populations or in those areas will probably be lower for a n- number of contributing factors, not just one and not just simply based off race, but more or less probably based off culture and, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do in that case? So, now have you ever read the Bell Curve? I have not. Mm-mm. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, they've done an extensive study uh, on this, and I've I've read bits and pieces of the Bell Curve, and um, I forget his name, but uh, and God, it, it skips me. But uh, one of the guys, he was against. Uh, uh, not, you know what? Not, now I have to Google myself the bell curve uh, just because. Hold on, folks. Well, I Google the bell curve. The bell curve, where they base where they base things off of whoever has the highest score, not necessarily a scale of one to a hundred. Right. But yeah, the yeah. smartest one gets seventy five. So yeah. then they're going to base that off the smart and go from there. Yeah. And and Charles Charles Murray, uh, who wrote it. Uh, and now I forget the, the gentleman who, um, God, there was a gentleman who, uh, who after he read the bell curve said that he was the most maligned man, uh, in modern history. Um, and the fact of the matter is no, you're basing intelligence off of who's the smartest of the dumbest, I, 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 you know, and, and, and it's not that way, but in my mind, I'm like, okay, you could take a group of people who can't read and three people can read the word cat. One of those people can read the word dog. And you're saying that that's going to scale the basis of intelligence well, for this group of people. Here's, here's the main thing that I got out of what I've looked into with the bell curve. He said, if you have a low IQ, on average, 
uh, things are going to be a lot tougher for you. Um, uh, your life expectancy, uh, your economic prospects, uh, all of that, a lot of that correlates uh, with your IQ and how well you can perform uh, tasks that are given to you. Right, and I and IQ isn't based off of straight, you know, question and answer. Based off mostly logic. Um, I mean, they have different aspects of it, but a huge part of an IQ test is problem solving and logic. And and, um, and, and, and here's the deal: if race is a so-called social construct, and all of that, why do we consider race? in uh, our affirmative action. I mean, uh, what's his face? I've uh, never agreed uh, with affirmative action, yeah. ever. But, but, but um, Stefan Molyneux said, if race is a social construct and something that isn't real, then the same thing could be said about um, white privilege. It's also, can that also be a social construct and not real? I don't believe in white privilege necessarily either. In some cases, no. sure, but I mean, I'm talking about extreme cases of complete ignorance. But I mean, that's in that's in any culture, not just white people. So it depends on where you're at in the world, I guess. You, you know, I just you know, you're anyway. That that's my opinion. It's it, here, white privilege is is something the United States made up to where, you know, if you were in Asia, you know, or in Africa or, or any other country in the world, you know, uh, there are certain communities who are probably privileged and extremely ignorant to the world and the way the world works. Um, I don't think white privilege itself is, is a thing most of the time. I think it's thrown around and abused way too much. Now, now the word white privilege is thrown around all over the West. I mean, in America, all over Europe, uh, with, new, with, with new immigrant groups that, uh, you know, that are coming. I mean, I, I see it, I mean, I see it uh, in England. I see it, uh, people mentioning that in Ireland. And the, a lot of these groups are foreigners who, compl- who, are, uh, who are talking yeah. about white privilege uh, who are lucky to be there, who are lucky to be in the country they're in. And it's like, it's almost like they're kind of, uh, they're showing a lot of ingratitude. I have a friend on Facebook who is black, and he is one of these people who believes that by your very existence of being born white, you are automatically given white privilege. And I would try to argue with him going, that's not, that's not true. And, um, I go, you know, white privilege is something that is taught to you by your parents. That idea of it is taught, is taught to you by your parents and, um, and, 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 and things like that. And we go back and forth. And every time I try to argue, of course, with him on social media, all of his black friends get on there and tell me how wrong and stupid I am. But, um, send it my way. But, but I mean, they, they, and I go, no, I mean, the struggle is real. The struggle is real for, for white people. And all these cultures, at some point, you know, there is struggle that is real, I feel like, with most people. And, uh, I mean, I, I get what they're saying. You know, where I, could walk into a, I could walk into a store in the mall, and mm-hmm. no one would look at me and what I'm doing. Whereas if you're black, they will probably look at you. And they're, that's in the aspect that they're talking about, where, you well, know, internal, it, 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 you know. It, it all depends. It all depends. If you're, if you're a white, okay. If you're, if if you're a black person and you're dressed a certain way, like if I'm a white person and I walk in near a Jewish, per, uh, near a uh, near a uh, in, 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 in a Jewish place or a white place with like, you know, like a skinhead and I have like lightning bolts on my shoulder and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get lo- looked a certain way and I may even get attacked. So. Right. If you're dressed in a certain way that is in, to a degree like in solidarity with, with, with an underclass and gang culture, yeah, you're going to get looked a certain way. And let me, I, I would ask that person, do, do whites have white privilege in South Africa? He'd probably say, yeah, they do. But, I mean, I almost want to draw comparisons 
to, you know, barbecue, like you've heard of like barbecue Becky. And uh, I don't know if you, you know, are, are the, are the times when uh, whites and it's usually white women who've um, had altercations with black men and they have like these little nicknames uh, for these, for these whites who've, uh, you know, yeah, one was barbecue Becky. One, one called the cops on, uh, on a, a girl selling water. Uh, on our street corner. Um, but when we mention uh, South Africa and the murders happening there, they go, oh, that, I mean, and, and these white people are automatically stigmatized as racist. Right. But when we talk about South Africa and the murders that happen there, they go, oh, that's just crime. They're, they're murdering because of crime. There's no racism. Or no, racism. they're wrong. They're yeah. wrong. You know, they're but, intentionally going after them you know, yeah, on they, purpose because of but, the color of their skin, and they think but, that they don't belong there. But but no, but a, a lot of the civil rights leaders here say, and, and even the liberals and the leftists here, they say, oh, no, that's just, that's just robbery. That's not intentional murder, and they're going after them. I mean, you, you hear the government uh, singing songs like Kill the White Farmer. Yeah. Well, soon there'll be no more white people to um, yeah. to uh, argue against that claim because they're just going to let them all die. So. Well, why, my thing is, why can't we give them? If we're giving other people refugee status, I'm not saying. I mean, I I know people say that we have enough refugees, but we're giving people refugee status. Shouldn't we also give? If we're going to give other people refugee status, shouldn't we give white South Africans? And I'm not even talking about the white farmers. Shouldn't we give all? Um, whites in South Africa because they are being um, subjugated, they are being persecuted. Shouldn't we give all of them refugees? I mean, I think I think the I think the law should go across the board if they can prove that they are, um, just like we do with any other country. Then then why not? Yeah, and I think that needs to go to the UN, and I think we need to say, hey, yeah, I mean, they live in encampments. They're you know to to me. Affirmative action in that country, I'm against affirmative, but affirmative action in that country makes it very difficult for them to get jobs, and mm. uh, it just makes it, uh, I mean, a lot of them are in camps and stuff, and I think that they're, this the whole is, of South this Africa. This is a very I, hot, hot issue, I mean, like, sensitive to the touch when you bring it up with certain crowds. Uh, you, you can't go oh, anywhere yeah. near the, the subject of IQ without getting, a, a, you know, an, an earful. And I get it. I get it. I'm not a fan of the IQ test, uh, but um... I'm not, I'm not necessarily a fan of it either. And I, I, I because I think intelligence is based off so intelligence so and IQ. Things. I should say IQ. So many is th- based off so many it different factors. So, I can see how it would sound so blazingly racist to say somebody that IQ. Um, it really, yes, really, really should set the social strata or, or some kind of I'm not sure if that's what it, this is all leading to. But whatever kind of strata is being created by these um, by, you know, the presumption of IQ meaning something. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I, I can see how people. Would get I, very I, I just think our, our ability to connect ideas in our brain and in our mind and handle situations and. All of that, which is like a huge part of IQ and, you know, the ways that we learn and things like that is based off so much more. I mean, I don't even think it is based off of race. I think it is based off of well, once again, what, what any, I think happens in utero, not environmentally, mention. culturally, you know, a lot of things. So I, I don't, I, you know, and that sometimes is a little more centric towards culture and uh, you know, I mean, I don't, but I don't think it's a race thing. I, I but, know, personally. By the way, it was Sam Harris uh, who said that Charles Mur- Murray was one of the most maligned men in modern day history. And the fact of the matter is, it. You know what? Here's the deal. It does. You know, and whether you guys agree with him or not, the fact that he has been barred uh, from speaking on many college campuses. Uh, should come to an. I mean, that and and that shouldn't happen. And these these individual groups should be a, a arrested and thrown off of campus. 
Uh, in, I think so too. They'll never do it. They, you, you know what? Then they should lose their funding. I think any federal funding, if the First Amendment is not protected, then they should lose. That college campus should lose federal fu funding. They try. I know out in Berkeley. They've tried to contain the crowds, and they just don't have the manpower. To, have you seen the crowds that show up? A lot of them aren't students. They come from everywhere in buses, <laughs> busloads, to bloviate them. You have to start around. We, you know what? We need to start. If, if we have to build, in my opinion, if we have to build large federal prisons and detention centers to stop these individuals, then we should do that. And I know that it would be hard because... We have a fight on our hands, and you know Antifa is uh, connected uh, to the Lawyers Guild. So these people um, have basically lawyered up. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of uh, Bay Stickman. No. Or Stickman? You haven't heard of him? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. A, not enough to know anything he, about him. He's one of the gentlemen who went to Berkeley and other places and armed with a stick and a shield basically began to protect uh, a lot of the Trump supporters and other people. He's, he's, I consider him a First Amendment superhero. You do. Uh, and he's, he's, he's uh, I think he's, he might still be in jail. Let me Google that. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. Let me see if Stickman. Uh, let me see. Did he have a baton? You, you can do a. You can do a time. You can do some time for a baton. No, but it's. Uh, let me see. The base. Based. I think it's based Stickman. Yeah, Kyle Here. based Stickman Chapman. Uh, back, yes. <laughs> back in jail for violating parole. Uh, oh my games. now jp if you can play i don't know if you want to play a few clips uh of uh ba the, the stick man yeah we could do Should, that share your screen again and uh please share your screen again all right hold on play the stick man as he's talking right now yes uh he was one of many people who was uh he wasn't at the battle of berkeley because I think there was an injunction against him, because uh, he. But he was one of the first people who got out there, started to belt people. We're not seeing the video, JP. Pepper spray and a few hits to the... Oh, my God. That's so wonderful. And... Ouch. Now, why is that even a crime? Yeah. Hey guys, I hope one day you all come over to the West Coast. Support us over there. And the neo Marxist hell all that's known as the Bay Area. <laughs> but to stand up against tyranny, to start to fight and show these people, show our government and show these communists over here that America has not lost the warrior spirit. <laughs> I tried to hit him with a skateboard. Hit him with your leg! Watch out! Watch out! Are you Come on! Come on, bro! I'm gonna do this shit, bro! Come on! You got some bitch ass nigga! The Constitution is a law of the land, not the Communist Manifesto. The heroes of our country are George Washington and Samuel Adams. Not Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin. I recognize that the officers here are American as any of us. 
They do not want these neo-Marxists destroying their country or city any more than you or I do. Please thank every officer you see today for being on the right side of the law. And our Western warriors are going to turn out on the streets and start fighting against Islamification of Europe. We're to start fighting against the, the neo-Marxist stronghold these people have had over our schools, our children, our universities. We're done with it. Is, uh, is this uh, kind of what you're getting at or was there a specific? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I guess, uh, yeah, and, uh, but, but uh, the thing of it is, He's in jail, right? And there's a bike lock. You know, the you remember the bike lock, uh, the bike lock guy. That guy hit yeah. somebody who was not attacking anybody, and he he didn't get any jail time. I I wonder why. This is crazy. They're throwing trash cans around. Oh, that was great. Getting pepper we did look like that in L.A., but you know what? I think we'd be outnumbered there. But they kicked, they really kicked butt, man. Whoa. Now, how much, uh, how much video did you see of Berkeley, uh, Liz? I saw a lot of footage from Berkeley and when all that went down. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. All right. As Liz is taking a break, uh, JP, uh, if you're on your Twitter feed, uh, if you want to, you and I can start perhaps reading the uh, the tweet. Uh, if you if you type in to your um, uh, on your Twitter search engine, James uh, Watson, you can read all uh, of the um, or, or many of the remarks that have been made about the man on your Twitter feed. If you can go to your Twitter feed. Or your Twitter. Dr. James Dewey? Or you just even even type in James Watson. James Watson. You go on your Twitter feed. Can you share that with us, by the way? Yeah. yeah. Let me find him first. I don't see him. Okay. Can you go to your Twitter? Go to your Twitter feed. And um, I'll tell you how to get. You go onto your search engine. And you know, it's, it's just reading the comments that people have made about him. If you go to your Twitter feed and you in, in the search engine, in the search engine engines right on your uh, on your uh, it's on your left hand side. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and this is okay. Yeah. The, now, yeah, the, this is all the stuff that's been said about him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Join Mr. Midnight. Oh, shit. So That's got, cool. They they got a we got that on the Twitter feed. That's so cool. How did you do that? That's what I, I have it on there automatic. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, so we are talking about uh, Dr. James Watson. So um, one person I guess, I guess James Watson yet another victim of uh, satanic PC ears. And then has any comments here? Um, All right, I'm here. He didn't discover DNA. He got honors for it though. I believe it was Rosalind Franklin. Sorry if I misspelled. That started it all, but she was ignored as a woman. If John Watson was a true scientist, then he would know that biology de uh, does not define the race. Mm, okay. And then uh, crazy whore, or cray whores. Cray whores. Four people cray -whores. involved in various ways discovering the structure of DNA. Rosalind Franklin contributed. So all of this shit right here. And I look at this. Uh, this is Doe's ideas. Do white people ever uh, have higher IQ than black Africans? I have started wondering if Dr. James Watson was correct with his assertions that white people have higher IQ than black Africans. I don't know what the hell that even means. I bet you in some African tribes, um, some black people would be able to get away from a lion better than a white person. I mean, IQ, they, I think, once again, is very subjective. Yeah, but it, it is a deal. In, in, like I said, in America, they talk about white privilege, and uh, whites have to, in many jobs, whites have to score higher on the test, and they have to do better than uh, minorities. 
And let's see here, James Watson. White supremacy, genetics, Dr. James Watson. Do not like that thing. Okay, do I like uh, Stefan Molyneux. Technically, Jews and Asians score higher than whites, whatever the reason. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I believe that. Okay, and then Stefan Molyneux. Put a like there. Spoken like a true Jew, by the way, Jewish producer. Thank you. Uh, wow, sir, you're right. Been saying this for quite some time. I have all the science I need right here in my Bible. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> a lot of good comments out there. Uh, Show yeah. the real science deniers real science. Uh, keep up the great work similar to Richard Dawkins' efforts with religion and atheism. You are exposing the profound effects uh, of IQ differences across different sectors. Put a like on that. You can go in there and like them yourself. Fuck you. William Holes, most of us stopped taking IQ seriously in like the 90s. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I, I do think it's there is, there is value in still like gauging IQ and testing it and doing studies on it. But I mean, using it as like a... I, I've never... I don't know. Mr. Midnight Movie, did you have to take an IQ test for your job? Jewish produce, and did any of us, you know, know? No. <laughs> you no. know, they, they, I think they did stop stop really taking it. Well, they stop, you, in the know, you know why they stopped uh, doing IQ tests was uh, uh, they stopped giving out IQ tests because of um, uh, uh, because of the because of uh, the civil rights. I mean, they uh, because of the civil rights industrial complex. Because the truth is, Mr. Uh, movie, did you ever have an IQ test in school? Uh, I, I, I don't sure think did. I have. I went to a private school in third grade, and I sure enough, I had an IQ test, which is and what, still on file at that school. I could probably still access it. You know, well. I, when I, I I can't you well the only the, I think the closest thing I came to an IQ test I guess what would would have been uh, I guess when I, I came close to joining the army but they weren't going to give me what I wanted and I took an IQ test I, I, I guess the ASVAB is considered a, sort of an IQ test they weren't going to give me what you can request to have your IQ tested I think at universities. And you can there's there's different locations you can pay to have them done, and someone will administer it for you. And then there's your generic online one, which is you know absolutely ridiculous. But um, there are there are locations people do people do the same ones that do like the ink blot test um, and things like that. It's usually administered by the same same folks that that do that kind of stuff. So I'm uh, I'm uh, tweeting a Yemeni, uh, by the way. Uh, why am I? Why am I doing a YouTube thing? I had a lot of podcasters start following me. Dave, uh, I'm sorry, Avi Yemeni. He is a he is a um, Australian. Uh, he's a he's a he's an Australian uh, of Israeli descent, and he um, he uh, is fighting. To have white South Africans as refugees, and uh, yeah, let me go here. I'm also going to go to yeah. Let me see. But if you, I, I think maybe if you tweeted it to uh, Stefan Molyneux, they may get um, they may get the, you might might get some listens off of that. I could be wrong. Dude, jump on Twitter and start doing all those things right now. I will. Yeah. I'm going to do it right now. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop being a whore. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, um, uh, um, have you ever been uh, a social justice warrior, uh, Liz? No. No, I, no, absolutely not. I, I've always I've always found it interesting though. So I mean, I'll I'll, I'll go and I'll watch everyone because you know I don't I don't trust anyone to report you know things correctly or tell the story correctly because everyone has their own bias and um and even you know even myself. But I do I will go and watch 
and you know form my own opinions but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I tend to go fight for um for one side or the other plus I don't want my ass kicked you know pretty face doesn't belong in jail yeah but do you you're going to the women's march tomorrow so you're very excited yes. what signs do you have made oh, for the women's march well, you know, we had a, uh, and I don't know if JP still has it, but we had a sign uh, that said white guilt, and it's a picture, we have a picture of um, Talcum X, what the hell is his name, uh, fuck, I can't even remember the fuck face's name, um, We're roving out <laughs> to the Senate side because the thing is, we went to his office in the Capitol. We went to his office here in the Russell Building. We went to the floor. He's not. We went to the cloakroom. He's not in the cloakroom. He's not in the Capitol. He's not in the Russell Building. He's not in the floor of the Senate. And 800,000 people don't have their paychecks. So where's Mitch? And just my question. They couldn't find him. Couldn't find. They Mitch couldn't find him. Mitch. Yeah, they couldn't find him. Yes, yeah, so I'm reading. Uh, let me see here. And uh, the Nobel was for proving uh, the double, I can't even say, structure of DNA. All of all doing work at the time, only Franklin discovered the technique that plummeted the sample and the photo 51. Is the reason Watson got the Nobel. Uh, she deserved it. Okay. And uh, let's see. He spoke at my girl's school way back when. Don't remember what he said, but I know I'm still mad they invited him. I'm, you know, the thing is, when I tweet these people, they never tweet me back. Because I, this girl that went to an all-girls school, I said, it should say, you sound like a virtue hypocrite, by the way. Uh, you're lucky, you know, you're rich, privileged, little rich kid, and then virtue, virtue signal to all of us. Oh. Trump here lives right here. Little tiny circles. Little tiny circles. <laughs> there you go. I just let that brush dance and play. Yes. But think about a basic Trump shape. Don't just throw it up there and, and think it Trump. will appear. Gently, gently, gently. Just using the top corner of the brush, <laughs> blend the base of the trump hair. Then we'll fluff it a little, like so, and very gently. One hair and some air. Oh Whisper like. Okay. This is a very simple painting that you can do, even if you've never painted before. So, from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting, and God bless, my friend. That's great. <laughs> That's amazing. Um... Oh, this is one of your favorites, uh, Ben Shapiro. I love Ben Shapiro. The crime rate, right? That all the, that, that what has lowered the crime rate traditionally has been killing all the would-be criminals. First of all, okay, that, I, I don't know who's comfortable with the pre-crime yeah, version of humanity. Sure we get like to decide that. before you're born whether you're likely to be a criminal and then abort you based on future criminal activity in which you have not participated. Right? The, the, the argument, I guess, here is that would you kill baby Hitler? And the truth is that no pro-life person on earth would kill baby Hitler, right? Because baby Hitler wasn't Hitler. Adult Hitler was Hitler. Baby Hitler was a baby, right? What you presumably want to do with baby Hitler was take baby Hitler out of baby Hitler's house and move baby Hitler into a better house where he would not grow up to be Hitler, right? That's the idea. But it is also no. true that the crime statistics do not even match up. Criminologist Barry Latzer points out that abortions became available in 1973 under Roe v. Wade, those young people would go on to create a massive crime spike and the crack cocaine epidemic. But if you move forward 15 to 20 years, right, which, that's when you would see the crime drop due to the abortion of babies. But there is no crime drop. You'd expect the absent babies, right, the babies that were killed starting in 1973, not to be around carjacking people. But it turns out that people were still carjacking people 15 years after Roe v. Wade, 20 years after Roe v. Wade. The crime, the crime spike only began to drop in 1994 a solid 21 years after Roe v. Wade was actually put in place. That can't be due to abortion, right? That's really due to additional policing, so it doesn't even match up statistically. Okay, now, in all of this discussion, I've refrained from discussing the Bible and religion. Now, one of the arguments that I've made is based on the Bible or religion. Now, the media will pretend that I didn't make any of these arguments, that it's all about the Bible and religion. 
because the left prefers to believe that religion is stupid and people who believe in religion are stupid, people who believe in God are idiots, and that's the reason why we prefer to, to protect the lives of the unborn. But we do have to recognize one religious root to every argument that I'm making, and that is the innate value of human life. That is a religiously based argument. Okay, the system that produces both science and the Enlightenment is rooted in biblical values. A Judeo-Christian system created a system based on science. Science only rose in the West because it was based on the idea that you live... I guess that, that um, conversation got a lot of attention. I, I heard a little bit about it, but I didn't know that... Didn't, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Is it that shocking? I love Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. He, he's on point most of the time, and he, the guy can can intelligently argue through most of the idiots on the left. So I, I, I love the guy. My personal favorite is um, Stefan Molyneux. I do think, though, he'd be kind of a prick across the board. So if I were to hang out with him, he'd probably just... Blah, 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 blah. I don't like that. But I do like listening to him when he is like, uh, arguing and, and debating politics. I think he... And, and only some, most of the subjects that I think that he debates on, he knows a lot about. So, I don't know. I like him. What do you think of uh, Botox and the lips? Why? Why would? Are Are you in support of Botoxing lips or? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what 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 are the what are they trying to do now with lips? Are they just trying to get the wrinkles out of them now, or or what? They used to put collagen in lips. Why are they tightening the lips now? Well, the story is a super drug to run mental health checks for patients seeking Botox and lip fillers. <laughs> that's a new. Uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, I, I would agree. Have you ever seen people like um, that Kendall, or the bar, the real life Barbie? Yeah. You know, you you can walk around a lot There's... of places in California and see people yes. that actually look very similar to that, and there's something wrong with them. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm I thinking agree. that's okay the way they look. Weeks, okay. It's been a little bit over three weeks. Trump is now ordering, as in summoning, federal government workers to go back to work without getting paid. Now, I don't want to hear y'all motherfuckers talking about, oh, but Obama shut down the government for 17 days. Yeah, bitch, for health care. So your grandma could check her blood pressure, and you bitches could go check your pussy in the gynecologist with no motherfucking problem. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't care because y'all don't work for the government, or y'all probably don't even have a job, but this shit is really fucking serious, bro. This shit is crazy. Like, our, our country is in a hellhole right now. All for a fucking wall. And we really need to take this serious. We, I feel like we need to take some action. I don't know what type of action, bitch, because this is not what I do. But, bitch, I'm scared. She doesn't know what type of action. Why? Because that's not what she does. That's very clear. When you Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B! Cardi B! Oh, God, you know, I, people like that... Were, like, fucking you what, bitch? You're like, you know, there's things going on, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. We need to take some fucking action. I don't know what that action is, but we need to take some action against this shit. Like, <laughs> shut up. What the fuck? Well, I mean... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Shut let, up. Let, let me say this, and, 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 and I've, been, I, I've been told it's a terrible idea, but I think a two-pronged approach of building, uh, like, I, I would say, um, perhaps resettlement camps for some of these protesters who uh, who disrupt free speech and and my caning law uh, for, uh, for for the worst offenders. I think that would be something that would stop that action. And oh I love that. Is that a squirrel? Yeah he came back to stuff all three of those <laughs> nuts in his mouth so he didn't have to come back. Yes. That was smart. Good job dude. Yeah. Um, no, I um, I had a um, a coworker that picked up a squirrel and got very badly bitten. Really? Oh. Yeah. I would not. Uh, I would. I don't think I would trust uh, the squirrel. Oh, come on. No. No, or that it's not reflected in the structure. What's the effect since you've been in journalism yeah. so long? 
Both of us worked at another network sure. 20 years ago. Yep. You've seen. So, yeah, I mean, right now. Uh, I mean, these, I. Uh, Sorry, go on. These SJWs, basically what they are. And people, and it was it wasn't me that said it. It was Tim Poole who said these are modern day inquisitors. And if you and and, and, and it's and it's like it's like a religion, you know. Morning, if they don't John like what here. you do or say, they can you know basically after that point I have some breaking news to make. Okay, go ahead. No, no, go on. I want to save it for our financial feature of the night. Okay. Um, Ooh, should I be excited? Probably not. I, I hope so. so. But, um, yes. Um, God, no, what was I going to say? Yeah. They basically, uh, and the, the problem is, is these, these inquisitors uh, are enabled by very powerful people. And they basically do the bidding uh, for them, and and because I think that most Americans don't agree with what's going on. Uh, most Americans, I, I I would I believe that they they don't agree with what happened with uh, with Roseanne. I think it it was. I would agree. I think the ratings were very indicative of how Americans felt with what happened with Roseanne. Did you see the most recent picture she tweeted, where yeah. she had blonde hair and? Like look oh, yeah. hot, and yeah. I, Roseanne literally looks like my grandmother who passed away several years ago. But growing up, when I'd watch Roseanne, I'm like, oh my god, this lady looks just like my grandma. And um, and then I saw that picture of her with blonde hair, and looking amazing. And I'm like, someone needs to give her makeup and hair person a raise because there's good. no way she, she looks, looks like that normally. Right? She looks she looks good smoking hot right now. I agree. I saw those pictures. She's going to do an interview with, well, I think, with Mike Tyson coming up on a podcast. She used to have a podcast out here somewhere in, like, San Bernardino. Is she really? Mm -hmm. That would have been really interesting to hear. I would love to hear Mike Tyson on a podcast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's coming. Now they call him a white nationalist, uh, Bay Stickman. Now why is, is he a white nationalist? I, I never knew he was a... And they're calling them a white nationalist. Kyle Chapman, prominent member of the far right who lives in the Bay Area, was arrested uh, in Oakland on July 3rd and is being held in Alameda County, uh, Santa Rita Jail without bail on charges that he assaulted a man in Texas in a Texas bar fight one year. Uh, so Travis County Judge issued a warrant for Chapman. Chapman Rose pronounced... So uh, Chapman was videotaped hitting several people over the head with a wooden cane. Hey, he's a caner. After the attack, he's a caner. <laughs> his uh, his followers nicknamed him Based Stickman, and Chapman has turned his violent reputation into a profitable brand, selling his own line of clothing and appearing at pro-Trump anti-immigration rallies around the country. Last August, the Almeida County uh, uh, attorney charged Chapman with possession of a leaded uh, cane for his actions in Berkeley. No, he are you saying that someone with a cane went around caning people and it was illegal and went to jail for it? No, 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 no. He, it was... Well, no, he was hitting people. It was self-defense. I mean, everything that I know of him, he was doing it in self-defense. These were like Antifa groups. He has pled it not guilty to felony uh, uh, allegation. On July 1st last year, Chapman was in Texas for the Texans for America Freedom Rally uh, at the state capitol in Austin. Chapman was, feature was a featured speaker at the event. After the protest, Chapman ended up at a at the Dirty Dog Bar, one of the many uh, nightclubs on Austin's busy Sixth uh, Street party district. According to court records, 
At about 1.30 a.m. in the morning, Chapman was shoving people in most pit, in a mosh pit, when he got into an altercation with another bar patron. An Austin police detective wrote the affidavit that Chapman punched the other man and then hit him across the face with a wooden bar stool. The detective interviewed a witness who described Chapman's behavior at the bar as an attempt to instigate a fight. Witnesses saw Chapman punch the victim and the second unidentified man who appeared to be uh, with Chapman threw another punch. The detective also reviewed the surveillance video from the bar and was able to see uh, a man fitting Chapman's description, shoving people and getting into the argument with the victim. According to the detectives, uh, Kyle initially shoves a patron and a victim is seen approaching uh, and, and, and victim is seen approaching Kyle. They have a conversation and Kyle shoves the victim and then punches him in the face. Kyle grabs a large wooden bar stool and hits the victim in the forehead, causing him to the fall to the ground. Chapman also made a drink purchase at the bar at the bar using his wife's credit card, and after the fight, he left the card behind. The credit card was later seized by police and is being held uh, as evidence. According to the court, the victim, Colin Cruz, had a fracture to his face and a hemor uh, and hemorrhaging in his brain and required surgery. Chapman has a violent history. In August uh, 2017, an Almeida County judge barred him from possessing a uh, weapon of any, of any type, but in November he posted videos to his Facebook account bragging of carrying, uh, I don't even know what that word is. Uh, a, uh, what does it sound it out? It's K U B A T O N. Take off your pants. A cup of time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's called a cup of time. <laughs> a small, sharp metal weapon. Oh, I like that. And he says, this is what I ca carry on my uh, keychain, guys, Chapman said in the video, which it later quoted in court documents um, <clears throat> during the bail hearing. Antifa, just so you know, you're fucking deadly, he said, referring to anti-fascist protesters who has repeatedly confronted at protest. In December, Chapman and a friend arrested by Federal Parks Police in San Francisco for, uh, for driving uh, off-road on the beach while playing loud Christmas music. When, when he searched, officers discovered uh, the Cubiton on his keychain upon review the incident. Okay. And uh, let's see. Dana Windsor sounds like the STD issue, right wing Stafford wife, if needed an opinion. Well, now the rumor is that Benny is running from three banks. I don't know how true that is. I'm only reading off of the chat board. I, 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 That's I, a, I, that, but I mean, at the same time, you know, I, if we don't let some things in the chat room and others, that's a little bit of a doxing thing. Yeah, I, I don't true. know how appropriate. That's true. Don't don't write that stuff, people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is Who is that? Keep it to the PMs. Oh, I'm gonna delete that message. Yeah, and I don't know who that is anyway. Yeah. Never mind. It's not cool. Yeah, I don't know who that is either. So what? We don't, I don't care. I don't care about that. Uh, all I know is one angry Jew has left. I haven't heard from him. And, um, to be honest, make um, he's been slightly around again more recently, but oh. I am. Um, in fact, I think if what I think the last Saka account he had was a Mr. Midnight Movie Man Boobs account. 
<laughs> yes. Days ago. That's, yes. But yeah, other than that, I haven't really, I haven't seen him around. We made a video last week for Martin Luther King Day, and and what, and Mr. Midnight Movie opened his uh, members only jacket to reveal two huge man breasts. Yes. And so mm-hmm. we got all kinds of comments <laughs> from that. I just know I had a lady boner from it. Me you know, too. I I'm it, it I liked it. We'll just we'll just say that. Yeah. yeah I, but I think that's the last sock account that one angry you had was that one and that's not, I only very briefly saw it cuz it was in my chat room before I deleted it and banned it. He but, made um, several comments, by the way. Yes, he did. He he lied. did leave several comments on the video. Do we have that yeah. video somewhere? Where's, where's that? You want to play that? You want to play that video, JP? Should we play it? I'll play I it. don't give a shit. I say you play it. All right, let's see here. Let's slam it. Let's play the man let's boobs. Let's see if I can get it here. I think it's here. <sighs> and. Uh, I'll read the the comments uh, here. Um, This uh, Piston Pilot says, The the worst example of man boobs on the internet, stop eating soy. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) And And by the way. The follow-up was, yeah, really, yeah. And also tell him to stop being a pussy. By the way, Haifa Man is a Hebrew Israelite, by the way. I just want to... uh... No, and it's, I don't. It's yeah, hi, it's hi-fi, not haifa. Hi-fi man uh, seems. I think he's a Hebrew Israelite. On Monday, January twenty-first, Martin Luther King holiday. Uh, I'm going to go out, even if it's a lone army of myself. I'm going to go out in this year of two thousand nineteen uh, to protest for giving refugee status to white South Africans. I believe that they are mistreated and often murdered by the majority blacks, many of whom have racial vendettas against them. And uh, I want to have the discussion. If you believe that I'm wrong, uh, comment in the section below and tell me why I'm wrong. Even do a video about it. I'd like to start this discussion going. People who call me racist, I have this to say. I'm going to be wearing this shirt, by the way. Anyone can be racist. That includes... All races, ethnic groups. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so please uh, comment uh, below. Tell me why you think I'm wrong. There's been a lot of information about what's going on with white uh, South Africans, particularly the farmers. Uh, the ADL recently said that these are, um, that these are just uh, you know, farm invasions and doing it for robbery. Like, none of it's due to racial vendetta or racial hatred. Come on, ADL. Be honest and be noble. And it, and it does, it, like I said, it, it doesn't seem like the people who are debating this issue are putting this issue forward are being very honest and really being kind of unnoble. To a degree, you're standing in solidarity with the murderers. Like I said, if I'm wrong, please give me proof of why I'm wrong. Please show me why I'm wrong and how I'm wrong. But, uh... You know, the government there is talking about murdering white farmers, murdering, slitting the throat of whiteness. That's not good for uh, a people that are a minority. Uh, they should be given refugee status uh, here in America and throughout the West. Uh, let's hope that that happens, and uh, let's fight the civil rights industrial complex. Thank you. Um, that these are just, uh, anyway, anyone can be racist. I just I wanted to get that open so you were able to see the man boobs there. There yes. you go. I like it. That's that's what I'm looking for. The that's the refugees. Yes. I like I like it. I like the video too. That was a good video. Did you laugh? I took you very seriously. <laughs> Are um, you really going out on um on Monday? Yes, I am. You want to join me? I would love to, but I think I don't. I don't think I have that day off. I, I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure I don't have that day off. I think I have to work on a MLK day. Yeah, you better check your privilege. I, I my, my my privilege ass needs to work on a holiday. 
Nice. Anything else we're going to get into tonight, or what do you want to do? You know what? I, I think that may do it for our you great show. Uh, slowing down. This was a fun. great show. This was a great show. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, I hope everyone had a lot of fun out there. Um, but we are going to go out today for the Women's March. Uh, we're going to be having signs. I'm going to try to find my anybody can be a racist. And then on Monday, we'll all... Well, folks, this is the best show on Blog Talk and the best show... I didn't mean to cut you off like that. That's fine. I'll speak over it. On Monday, we're going to be out with uh, Martin Luther King and on uh, going to the Women's March. Whoa. Is it, how's that? That's good. No worries. Jewish producer. Hello, son. Thanks for listening to Inflammatory Talk. Things that nobody, nobody tackles. Hello, son. The man to answer. Hello, son. Stop walking on eggshells. Shut up. Hello, son. Goofy Bone can get off his bloviated fat enchilada ass and start talking about LaRon.